In eastern Ukraine, family-run farms are feeling the impact of the ongoing conflict. Life was never easy here, but living on the front line is stretching the resilience of these families to the limit. It's dangerous now. There are so many mines and livestock are still grazing. It's always a risk, but we don't have any choice. We have to work. I don't go to the fields now. I just work in or behind my garden and sometimes I mow the grass in the meadow. The UN Food and Agriculture Organization, FAO, has published the results of a household survey carried out in Donetsk and Lugansk regions. They paint a bleak picture for food security and agricultural productivity here where most inhabitants usually rely on their own produce to feed their families. But now, even those who grow cash crops are facing many challenges. Skipping meals, migrating to find work, borrowing money, selling assets, killing livestock and planting less are just some of the ways these families are dealing with the hardship. Oh, boy, boy. I could show you our potatoes, although we don't always have any. We bought some cabbage, which might last the winter. I will make it last as long as possible. Our potatoes are small, but I cook them for my granddaughter, and that's all. We don't have any fats, butter or oils, and we don't even have a shop here. If my son doesn't bring me bread, I will go hungry, because there is a bread shortage. I have to go to Lahanka or Mironovka, but I have trouble walking. If I have to go further than the yard, I use a walking stick, and that's it. Many of the farmers depend on food aid, but the FAO survey recommends immediate provision of the basic farming equipment and inputs needed to maintain local crop and livestock production. But while the conflict continues, life here can never be normal. We plant our garden under fire and harvest under fire. As a result, we don't have enough potatoes. We pay high prices for onion and carrot since a bomb exploded in our garden. It was very hard to plant a vegetable garden and harvest our produce. FAO has already distributed potato seeds, animal feed and chickens to the most vulnerable families. But if all the needy families are to be reached, operations need to be scaled up. 